Hey guys, Robert with The Man Factory, and in this video I want to give you a quick useful tip on improving hip flexibility for strength training purposes. So when I train guys who haven't done a lot of weight training before, or haven't done any weight training before, of course one of the main first movements that I teach them is the barbell back squat. Now, if you've read any of my articles on the squat, you know that one of the most important things about proper technique, doing the movement safely and as strongly as possible, is shoving your knees out widely so that they're in the same direction as your outward pointed toes. That's important for a few reasons. First of all, it keeps your knees safe and strong. It also forms a vertical alignment between your feet and your knees, so you're transmitting force upwards as efficiently as possible. But long story short, this particular aspect of squatting technique tends to be difficult for a lot of guys, particularly guys 50 and up who haven't trained before. Something about using the hips in such a flexible way makes it difficult for them to achieve proper technique and they're not able to shove their knees out widely enough. That's where this video comes in and this idea that actually my dad came up with when he first started barbell training and he had this very common problem of not being able to shove his knees out widely enough as he descended into the squat. So he took this thing here, an Irwin quick grip clamp. This one is four feet long. You need a fairly long clamp to be able to do this. It doesn't have to be an Irwin brand, but uh, this one works very well for what I'm about to show you. Now, one of the things my dad and I have in common is that we both earn most of our livings sitting at a desk, typing at a computer. Not great for someone who wants to be as flexible as possible and move as efficiently and strongly as possible in the gym. You know, sitting for hours on end, it's not fantastic for your hip flexibility or any part of your body being flexible. But this quick grip clamp and the technique that I'm about to show you with it makes that disadvantage into an advantage. So what you're going to do is take your clamp and reverse the direction of it. So in this case, I'm going to unlock this little clip here and take this side of the clamp mechanism right off and put it back on in the opposite orientation. Make sure it's solid there. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the gripping portion with the handle and slide it right off the end of the clamp as well. And again, reverse direction and put it back on just like that. Now I bet you can see where I'm going with this at this point. If I was sitting here at my desk and I wanted to work on my hip flexibility, I could do so easily with this now reversed four foot Irwin clamp by simply putting the clamp between my knees, opening up those hips as wide as I can get them, and increasing the tension further with the handle. And you can see that it's shoving my knees out pretty far and I can just go about my regular work while I'm doing this. Just keeping my knees shoved out and stretched. Over time as I get more flexible I can use a silver sharpie marker here to mark on the clamp just how far I've opened it up and thus how far I've opened my hips up and keep track of my progress that way. Now in practice when you're using a clamp in this manner the pads of the clamp can get kind of painful on your knees because they're often hard plastic or even metal and you're putting quite a bit of pressure against your leg muscles inside your knee joint with the clamp. So. A useful tip is to use a wadded up cloth that you don't care about. In this case I've just got an old sweater bunched up under both sides of the clamp to save my skin and my, uh, and my leg muscles from the hard plastic of the clamp. And that just makes it not painful and, uh, and easy to continue increasing the tension and shoving those knees out more with the clamp. 
So that's it for the video. Just a quick tip on how you can use a, an Irwin quick grip clamp or any other kind of clamp that's reversible to improve your hip flexibility and thus improve your technique in movements like the barbell squat. Hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Stay flexible and strong and thanks for watching.